Hi everybody, it's Mad Martha from Team One Newport and we're here to introduce an amazing new Fellweather Gear line made by North Sales Performance Gear. North Sales is one of the leaders in sail making. They have sailors that have sailed all over the world, around every ocean there is, and they know their Fellweather Gear. So they decided to partner with Nigel Musto, who is of the Musto family that started Musto Fellweather Gear. Bring the best together and you're gonna get the best gear. This is the Atlantic Ocean Smock. The difference that North Sail has done is they have researched and found that you need to really start with a tighter weave outer fabric. So I'm gonna go back and give you a little bit of Fabric 301 course here. So in order to make a breathable foul weather gear fabric, you have to start with an outer fabric, then you have a membrane, North Sales is using the Gore-Tex Pro, and then you have a scrim, and that protects the inside of the membrane. You put it all together, and that becomes your waterproof fabric. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna put something on the outside, which is called durable water repellency. If you ever have a brand new fabric on a brand new jacket, once you see the water beat up, that's the waterproof repellency. It all works together to ensure that everything is absolutely waterproof. And then what you have to do is if you've got waterproof fabric, you have to make sure that the seams are taped because every single seam that you have on this jacket, if it's not taped, that's a little hole that the water can get in. So let's start with this jacket. Very cool, really streamlined jacket. It's made with the 240 gram square meter, which is the ocean fabric. And so it's thicker. It's a little bit more durable and it is made to take the abuse of the oceans. With it, they're gonna start with a latex neck seal. They've got the latex wrist seals. This is so when you literally reach in or the water wave comes right over you, nothing is going to get in. It's absolutely waterproof. You've got a great full kangaroo pocket, which is what we call a kangaroo and that you go in one side and not the other. And with that, it's got a really, really extra long back. Now, what I'm going to show you here is that this is a really cool fabric. So this is what they call 4DL. So we've heard of 3DL sales. They've now taken that technology and we're putting it right into Fellweather gear. So 4DL is a rubber reinforcement panel, but what do they do differently? It's rubber and it's actually bonded right to the fabric. This fabric itself will not absorb any water, which is different from what the other manufacturers are doing. So that makes it so it's light, it's never going to absorb. So if you get this jacket totally wet, really and truly, it'll not gain weight in its water. Another great feature on the offshore smocks, whether it's the Southern Ocean or the Atlantic, is they have a great skirt on the inside. The back is neoprene, so it'll grip the back layer of the reinforcement, the rubber there, and then you've got adjustments here so you can bring it really tight right against your bibs. So if by any chance a wave comes up and in, it's gonna protect you from that. And next what we're gonna talk about is the Southern Ocean Smock. North Sales has come up with what they call Duraseals. So it is a nylon two, meaning that it's neoprene with nylon on one side, but really this is a nylon one, two plus. They have a really cool coating on the inside. So what that does is it makes it really easy for your hand to slide into that wrist seal and they also have it on the inside of the neck seal. So when you don that smock, it slides on and it doesn't get stuck on you. Great innovation by North Sales. Same fabric that they use the 240 with the tight weave fabric with the pro membrane as the Atlantic smock. This one's a little bit different. Southern Ocean, anyone ever been there? If you have, you know you need a hood. That is the worst elements in the world are in the Southern Ocean. So you have a great high collar here with a chin guard. And then you have a terrific hood that has adjustments all over. So with this, if you're in the Southern Ocean, most people wear goggles. It's a great move so you're completely covered. And that's really important if you're ever there and it's snowing. It's not a great thing and you don't want to be wet and you don't want to be cold. And next we have the offshore line. Same concept, using a pro membrane with the scrim and your outer fabric. This time your fabric's a little bit lighter. 
So it's a 160 grams per square meter, and that's what they use in the offshore line. It's a great offshore smock. It is similar to the Southern Ocean smock in that it's got the Duraseal. And you can see right there, great, easy, nice, smooth fabric to put it on with the wrist seals. I know this is a little big for Mad Martha, but I'm going to try it on and show you exactly how this works. So there it is, nice and easy to go on. Now, of course, if this was my size, the neck would be a little bit tighter here, but I'm wearing my jacket. You know why you wear jackets? Because when you're offshore, it can be pretty darn cold. The one thing you have to remember is, is that your foul weather gear is your walls of your house. That's what keeps you dry. Your jackets and all your layers underneath, that's your thermostat. So that's how you manage your temperatures, what you're going. We all have different temperature levels. So as you can see from in here, weight, Velcro, closure. You can close that up really tightly. Of course, I'd probably be wearing my hair in a ponytail. And let's get the hood up. Whoops. And we have an adjustment back here. So if you have a smaller head, there you go. You put everything away. Now I'm ready to go offshore and I'm fully protected. The second piece in the offshore line is the actual offshore jacket. Most people do like wearing a jacket and certainly if you're forward of the mast, you really do like a smock and you appreciate that aspect of it. The jacket, great zippers. You can see that it's open. Once again, you can see the scrim here. It's got a nice high collar with a fleece lining and it has a great hood that has all sorts of very cool adjustments. I just let it out there. And all you do is you squeeze the little tab right here and it releases your bungee. And you also have an adjustment on the back of the hood so that you can pull the hood back. With that, great pockets. Don't forget, hand warmer pockets, nice fuzzy fleece on the inside. Really and truly a perfect offshore jacket. If you're going to go do Marion Bermuda Race, Marblehead Halifax, the Newport Bermuda Race next year. Great product, awesome, you're gonna have it. Remember, you always have to take care of it. Next, we're gonna go to the bibs or the trousers. My favorite piece. What they've done here is they have the same fabric. This is the ocean, so it's a 240 grams per square meter in the fabric, a little bit thicker than if you were on the offshore. But what I love about this the most is the adjustability in the straps. They have what I call the envelope system. So when you want to adjust it, if you're a little bit taller than your friend, one of the toughest things we have about foul weather gear is people come in all different heights and sizes. So what happens here is there's Velcro on both sides and you can literally just take this strap and move it up. It's not that easy. It's really strong. Mad Martha's going to get this straight. Trust me. This is, I've been advocating for this design for years, so thank you, Nigel Musto, for using this. But what it does is the end of that strap goes to here, so if you're tall and skinny, you or you've got a long body, you can extend those straps, and the best part is, is they're nice and flat on your chest, so when you wear a jacket over it, it's not bulky in the chest area. So with that, the other great thing is the 40L. We spoke about this in the jacket, but this is a rubberized, unbelievably durable reinforcement. What they've done a little differently here is they've bonded it, but not only that, they don't take it into the seam. So your seams along the side of your bibs they're nice and smooth, and they're not bulky or cumbersome for you. The other thing that we've got is that same reinforcement is on the back of the heel. How many of you have sat there with your boots and your feet drag? Okay, at 5'2", I will say that I am the worst at that because my bibs are always too long. So this is really nice. I always do try to make sure that I have my Velcro and it's tight against my boots, but Sometimes you're walking along and you drag on the back of your feet. Great product, 
really, really super durable. You don't need much, but you need to make sure you're staying dry. This is the exact same design as the Offshore. It's just the two different weights of fabric. This is the 240 grams per square meter, whereas when you get to the Offshore, that is going to be the 160 grams per square meter. Thanks for listening to the first North Sales Performance Mad Martha video, and we will have more on the North Sales gear. Go look at our YouTube channel. Happy sailing, Mad Martha from Team One Newport, signing off.